Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Hayabusa S4 leather boxing gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Hayabusa S4 leather boxing gloves. I got mine in the black colorway, 14 ounces, and a Velcro closure. You can also get this in lace-up. However, you would have to get it in a synthetic leather version. They do not make lace-up for the leather version of this glove as of yet. Um, there's a couple of other colors to choose from, a blue, red, white, and I believe it's a vintage brown. And you can get anywhere between 10 and 16 ounces uh, in terms of sizing. The gloves themselves are made in Pakistan, uh, utilizing mostly genuine leather. There's a couple areas of synthetic, like the suede on the thumb, as well as some of that mesh on the palm. But everything else on this glove is genuine leather. Um, they do have a synthetic version, which I did a review on a couple of years ago. Um, that's about $30 cheaper than this genuine leather version. And that's kind of a, a, a trend that Hayabusa does with a lot of their synthetic gloves, is they'll make a genuine leather version to satisfy those of you that want it in genuine leather, want that feel and that durability that often comes with a genuine leather glove. Uh, now, first things first, when you look at this glove, I'd say it has a little bit more of a shorter, stockier build to it, just like the synthetic version. And you do have the Hayabusa logo on the back of the glove, and you also have kind of uh, this kind of diagonal um, design on the back right here. It kind of looks like a chevron. Uh, very similar to like with the T3, except this is just printed on where the T3 is actually stitched and embroidered on the back of the glove. The leather on here is very nice, soft and supple, feels very high quality, has a little bit of a grain to it, kind of reminds me of uh, Napa leather in that regard. Um, you do have the micro suede on the thumb, um, and that is a feature that you find on a lot of other Hayabusa gloves. And the suede there is really nice to have, uh, especially if you're sweating a lot and you can kind of rub your face and kind of wipe the sweat off your forehead and you have that thumb. So it's a nice little feature. The, hang, uh, the finger compartment, should I say, has a Hayabusa that's written across right there. Um, you also have the Velcro strap that's three and a half inches, has Hayabusa on the tab right there. All leather construction as well. And you can see that it is a tapered Velcro uh, closure. So. Essentially, it's kind of similar to like what Rival does with their Ergo strap, where it starts off a little bit more narrow underneath the thumb right here and kind of widens up to give you a little bit more support higher up on your wrist and on this lower portion of the fat part of your hand. Uh, so you really get that nice locked in feel. Uh, it says S4 leather, 14 ounces at the bottom. Uh, another good cool thing I like that they do is they extend the Velcro around towards the front. So essentially what that does is if you really pull this Velcro really nice and tight and you need that extra amount of Velcro, this will go over so you don't have this tab right here just kind of flopping around and sticking out. So you have that extra Velcro that kind of overlaps and gives you a little bit of overflow in that regard. Another huge emphasis with this glove is that Hayabusa really puts an emphasis on wrist support. And you can see how thick that wrist support is on the back of your wrist. You're looking at it maybe about an inch, if not a little bit more than an inch of really firm density foam padding on the back of the wrist. It's really rigid. Um, and then on the inside of the wrist, you have about maybe a quarter of an inch of softer density foam padding that comes up right here and on this side as well. Uh, you'll also notice that they uh, add a piece of elastic right here to kind of keep uh, the inside portion of the glove together so it doesn't just kind of bulge open. The same thing right here, which is pretty traditional, which you'll find with a lot of uh, boxing gloves is you have the elastic up here, but traditionally you don't see the elastic on the bottom. So it's nice that you get that extra piece of elastic. Um, you have the 14 ounce weight tag right there um, and just more of that cautionary if you're gonna partake in, in any combat sports. Here's the leather strap on the inside. Now the inside portion, or should I say the palm side portion of the glove has almost like this mesh canvas type of material. Um, I'm not a big fan of that because sometimes I feel like it, it, it kind of gets stuck with the Velcro. Things can get stuck to it inside your, your duffel bag. Um, and, and to be honest with you, it doesn't really offer much in terms of breathability. You can see the inside liner uses a tricot style liner, but there's nothing on the inside that gives it a little extra breathability. It does give you a little bit more flexibility in terms of being a little bit more soft, uh, but it would have been nice if they used leather throughout the entire glove, not just on the back side of the glove. 
Um, you do have a grip bar that's a little bit on the smaller side. I wish the grip bar was a little bit bigger. And then also you have a leather attached thumb uh, that is a nice added feature. So overall, pretty much similar to the original S4 synthetic versions, except for a couple small details, obviously leather being the biggest one. Uh, quality of the gloves are actually pretty good. I mean, looking at the glove, the leather itself, I haven't had any issues with any kind of imperfections. The one thing I did notice is because it is injected molded foam, the foam on the inside tends to be really dense and very rigid. And what happens is the more I started using it, you'll, you'll start noticing that the, the, the leather starts to wrinkle up and it kind of gets a little bit of the slack on here. So I wasn't a big fan of that in terms of just having that little extra slack because of the molded foam. Um, but that's just kind of a natural occurrence I've noticed with a lot of molded foam gloves. So it would have been nice if maybe they made this in a multi-layer foam where the, the foam was a little bit softer and the leather kind of grabbed and adhered, adhered to it a little bit better. Um, outside of that, you do have that micro suede thumb. Um, you can see the stitching on the inside where the thumb meets the index finger looks really good. You know, the actual stitching pattern is all symmetric, nice and straight. Uh, the outside edges where the stitching is at looks really good. The gloves are a little bit underweight. I believe when I put them on the scale, they were both about right around like 13 and a half, um, 13 and a half ounces. So these are 14 ounce gloves. So they're a little bit uh, underweight, but not by much. Um, not really noticeable in my opinion, especially if you're just using this for training. Um, if I were to use these for, for sparring, I would definitely make sure to get these in 16 ounces, um, especially if these are gonna be underweight. You do have that Velcro that wraps around the wrist support. You can see that the glove is very well balanced. And again, that emphasis with that foam on the back of the wrist, and you can actually see that this is really all just one piece. So there's no separation, no hinge between the lower wrist, uh, wrist section of the glove and the top portion of where the hand goes into. So it's all one piece. And then the Velcro is stitched into that foam. So the fact that you have just all one piece is really nice. If you're just looking for something a little bit more supportive and protective, maybe you have a hand injury, uh, then I definitely think um, if this is in your budget, this would be a really good alternative uh, to use for a more protective, especially a glove that has some really good uh, wrist stability. Uh, comfort of the glove, sliding my hand in here. First thing you'll notice is I love the liner on here. The, it uses that really nice smooth tricot liner. Um, even in the inside of the thumb, it almost has like this kind of like this micro suede material on the inner portion of the thumb. The back of the thumb has the same tricot material. Uh, the thumb depth is really good. You can see when I make, I make a fist or I close down and clinch down on my fingers, um, the, the attached thumb doesn't pull down on the tip. So the comfort's definitely there. Uh, the piping around the thumb right here is a little bit on the tight side, uh, but this is starting to loosen up the more I use it. Putting the Velcro strap on, um, you could definitely feel the wrist support. I mean, it's just, it's really nice, tight and snug. Um, I do like that the, the strap is tapered that goes up a little bit higher up. So it gives you a little bit more support in that regard. Um, but it really feels nice and locked in. Again, the liner feels great. Um, the glove is pretty stiff to get, you know, from the get go. I'm not a fan of IMF. I made that pretty apparent in a lot of my videos. So it's really hard to really open my hand up. Um, the depth of the finger compartment is good though. The width is good. It's not too narrow. Um, it's not too wide. So in terms of my fingers sitting nicely next to each other, it doesn't feel like it gets crowded or I get any kind of blistering from my fingers rubbing against each other. Um, but the hand compartment feels very comfortable. I just wish that the glove wasn't as stiff it is, as it is because of the molded foam. But the wrist feels really good. The back of my hand feels great. Uh, the thumb feels really good as well. And I do love the fact that you have that suede to wipe the sweat off your face as well. Uh, protection and performance, in my opinion, this is definitely more of a protective style glove. It does have a much more rounded punch surface, which I'm not a fan of as well. Um, it is molded foam, so you can see it's a very dense foam. Um, more on the protective side, you don't get a lot of feedback or, or feel like you're uh, getting the feedback you're looking from from a much more softer style glove that may use a multi-layer foam uh, or something that's combined with horsehair where you can really feel like your, your knuckles sink in. Uh, with this, again, like a lot of other molded foam gloves, the emphasis is a little bit more for the budget. Um, often molded foam is used in gloves that are more mass produced, it's more budget minded. Um, it's easier and quicker for them to produce it and to put it into the casing because it's just one piece of foam, uh, but you do sacrifice some performance with that. Good for shock absorption, but not so much uh, when it comes to feedback in pop, in, in my opinion. Cost-wise, these gloves are $79, uh, and the synthetic versions are $59, so 
you're essentially paying, actually I had my math off earlier, you're paying $20 more uh, for the leather version. I definitely like the material on the leather compared to the synthetic a lot more. Um, at the $79 price range, I mean, if you're, if you're okay with a molded foam glove, uh, I then definitely think it would be worth it. Um, I just think that in the $80 range, there's a lot of other gloves out there. And in my opinion, if I'm gonna spend 80 bucks, I'm gonna bump up and pay the $99 uh, for the H5 Hayabusa gloves, which I think are way better than these uh, because of the type of foam, the comfort, and just the performance to me is way better than the S4. So in my opinion, if you're gonna spend the $79, you might as well spend the extra 20 and get yourself the H5 over the S4s. A decent glove, but I think the biggest killer with this glove is going to be the molded foam. Um, if you're really on the budget and you can't drop the extra uh, $20 for the H5s, then I would probably go with like something like a Venom Impact, um, something around that type of glove, because I feel like, to me, that performs better overall, regardless if this is leather or the synthetic material. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Hayabusa S4 leather boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.